Take so. with <laughs> yeah. 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 Something's Absolutely. happening. But yeah. I'm proud yeah. of that. I'm proud yeah. of that's the era I come from, man. But I realized why it came to an end, man. Straight. But it built it built it, MCs it, like it yourself. Did. Like because myself. If you, did. if you did it, if you didn't come correct with it, you know you were getting the, the, the hook. Yeah, exactly. Yes, um so one question I wanna ask, and it's a question that both of y'all we all uh, have a, a common bond with, okay? Um, I, we usually play the name game, or I have this like, name game thing that I do, right? And it was, it's also brings into our conversation because these guys help bring a le- the city up to another level, okay? Mm-hmm. So, Sorry. for example, Noah Forty Shabib, mm-hmm. okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. We all have a connection to him here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the question goes to both of y'all in different ways. Or the same. When did you first meet Forty? Okay. And what was going on, like, that... What, like how did you guys connect and like what were you guys doing like with the engineering and what were you working on and same thing with you Adam Straight. All right, because it's both different times yeah. yeah um I met 40 mid 2000s early early to mid 2000s he was interning for Gadget mm. Gadget is uh for those uh, you know sorry to put you on blast guys <laughs> but uh for for those who don't know he is like I think single-handedly uh, changed the sound of Canadian music. Mm. Um, he uh, and, and I know this wasn't the question, so I don't want to go off too much on it because it's it's a whole a whole another thing onto itself. But uh, yeah, he changed the sound of uh, Canadian music, and and uh, Forty was interning. For, for Gadget at the time. Oh, wow. And I had just come off of the, uh, I just come out of my Warner Brothers situation mm-hmm. um, and was working on uh, what would have been the Hood, what became the Hood is Here album. Yeah, um, we're working out of Blacksmith Studio, um, and and that's where where I met Forty at. Forty was one of a handful of produ- uh, pardon me, engineers that I I was working with at the time, and, and uh, with the exception of uh, uh, Damien and, uh, and one other cat. But uh, what happened was. You know, we we were work, I was working with interns that just wasn't cutting it. I'm coming from working with, uh, you know, the likes of Carl Napa as a Pro Tools guy in in, in uh, out of New York. That was you know, uh, and just the speed in which, you know, a studio session, a recording session w- w- was at for me at that point. Mm-hmm. You know, working with these interns, it, it was it was just it was a little frustrating to say the least. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, one day I got in there with with uh, with Noah and uh, and it was like I at that time I was already frustrated and just expected more the, of the same th- th- yeah the same sort of pace and sort of kind of had to humble myself to it like okay this is what it is and and was prepared for that and uh, and as we worked he was like no yeah no got that what you know what I'm saying like he yeah, was, he was, up, he was on I, point he was really he, he was like I'm like whoa okay you, you know what I'm saying he was he working at a high level that you ready yes for. yes well. and, and I was like okay like now I could work I'm like oh mm. shit let's yeah, because now you're in your you pocket. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to worry about certain yeah. things. He's yeah. got those things handled already. Yeah, he's you're doing your job. He's doing his job. Now I can work. Yeah, Absolutely. he's exceptional. Um, he's, but, yeah. yeah. So, a uh, long story short, I, I was like, I, I spoke to Gad. I'm like, look, I, don't put me in that room with nobody else <laughs> mm. <laughs> after this. And uh, you know, one thing led to another. We we um uh, we started working out of my home studio at the mm-hmm. time. And uh, and and to be perfectly honest, if if not for that, we we probably ne- nobody would have got to hear the Hood Is Here album. Mm-hmm. Like uh, if not for us meeting and, and working in the in the capacity that we did, and and in the capacity that we worked is what earned him the name Forty. To be uh, perfectly 40 honest, days, forty nights, forty days, he don't nights. rest, bro. Oh. Like believe it or not, man. Yes. Like I, yo. 40, I can't come from, Noah, Noah is the dude that showed me that certain people are made for this music and mm-hmm. some people are not. Some people are good enough to be talented enough for it, but certain people deserve to be there. I have, a, like, 
some people earn their stripes because they were in there at the right spot at the right time. Mm -hmm. 40 would have been there regardless of the era. If this was 1982, <laughs> he would have been there. If it was 1938, he would have been there. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's not to even gas him. He's just, and like Jelly would tell you, I, I messed with Noah back in uh, 2000 and maybe one. Mm -hmm. It's when Empire kind of was getting their stuff together. He went to high school and he was trying to hit up guys to be like, yo, let me do some joints for you. Yeah. We turned him down like five, six times in a row. Like, uh, we got our own guy. We don't really want nobody else. <laughs> oh, wow. Then he then he was like convinced one of our guys tech to like, yo, get the guys together. Come to my spot. We got a spot in Parkdale. We went to Parkdale. Mm -hmm. We did mm -hmm. the joints. It wasn't so much the quality of the beats. It wasn't anything like that. Actually, side note, we always thought that his beats were like hard hitting so we're like yo no one's ever going to take these soft sound of beats <laughs> no. it turns out that's the sound of toronto in five but anyhow he started doing his stuff and we started messing with him to hand to god imagine being the first basketball coach you ever get is greg popovich mm. bro if you mess with this guy and then all of a sudden you work with anybody else you're like no 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 that's not what i'm used to the first main guy we ever mess with is noah 40 shabib mm -hmm. and it's crazy because like he said, if I tell this guy, oh, in my head I'm thinking something stupid abstract, this guy would be like, oh, like this? Boom, boom, click, click, click. <laughs> oh, you mean like this? Done. Bro, he reads <laughs> minds. He's super quick. He mm -hmm. understands the equipment. He's just, he's very good at what he does. And mm -hmm. that's what that's the bottom line. Noah yeah. is made for this industry. Absolutely. Absolutely. He took the entire music we were making. He said, yo, just rhyme to all these drum loops. We rhyme to all the drum loops. Mm -hmm. He would leave. Remix them while we were sleeping. We would come home or we come back to the studio the next day or the next week, and he had new versions of the whole record that he wow. redid while we were sleeping. Wow, that's the forty day, forty night yeah. stuff. Absolutely. And and he just he just belonged there. And what happened was he got so good at it, he re he realized that yo the guys I'm messing with are good, but I gotta get I gotta elevate. Mm -hmm. And when we start not being able to get in touch with him, he was messing with guys like Chaos. Guys like Jelly, mm -hmm. guys like Socks. He was already on another level. By the time I started messaging him and I realized what else he was with, messing with, I was like, you know what? He's finding his place. Yeah. I didn't realize he would get to the level he's at where mm -hmm. he's working with Beyonce and all of that. Yeah. But to be honest, if anyone told me one day he was going to, I'd be like, absolutely. I well, get it. We all, wow. you know, there was a time where y'all reconnected because when, you know, I came into the mix and started dealing with y'all yeah. with yeah, the yeah, Empire yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. we were recording with him heavily. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And during that time, a young light skinned gentleman popped up on the scene. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? mm -hmm. I think I know so, who's on yeah, yeah. Why now, had customized, why had color? Trust, yeah, you yeah. want a microphone? Trust, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm like the only light skinned nigga in the house. Today, and we ain't man. talking about her, right? <laughs> right? So, what's y'all earliest Drake recollection for both of y'all? So, let's, let's start with you, Jefferson. Yeah. Uh, Personally, personal uh, with forty, I went to see forty at um, I think it was Remix. Mm -hmm. I believe it was Remix, and uh, and I went there to meet meet Drake. Cause he was telling me about this kid, and and he had played me a few things at the time, and I was I was like, yeah, this I I thought Drake had it from the time he played me some stuff. Um, in terms of being a uh, MC, like it, 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 it struck me because I was like, "This is okay." Because I'm looking at wheelchair Jimmy, and, uh, and uh, <laughs> I'm listening yeah, to, like, how, how and I was post? like, yeah. "I was like, okay, okay." And I, you know, so that was definitely uh, was was interesting to me. And and, and uh, so anyway, he he, uh, he 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 invited me down there one day when they when they was there, and uh, mm. and, and I remember meeting Drake, and he was a uh, like super humble, like very nice person. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say very nice. Like the, as, as like a, you know that. I mean like genuine. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah, felt yeah. that from him, and 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 it's you know, um, and and just you know just humble and, and soaking up the game. You know what I mean? And and mm -hmm. and I I seen that um, from that first time I met him, I, and I, I felt like, you know. Like yeah. yeah, they they go and hearing what they were doing, I'm like, you know, I I you know I co-signed it all the way. Like mm -hmm. yeah, go, you know what I mean for you, you know like this is what and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, because you know and and then you know he was explaining to me how fast uh, Drake worked at the time when you know this is even before I had actually met him that day mm -hmm. you know so I was like okay and he's like yeah we woo, 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 woo. like we're and then, you know um, 
meeting them and 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 seeing it you know what i mean and it's like yeah this is, <laughs> you know what i mean so i'm i'm um i'm super proud like yeah super proud of them you know like nobody can't really talk down about them around me uh you know Excuse and, me, and, and, uh, yeah yeah, yeah so you know uh, they they you know every every so often in the culture uh, uh, something comes along and it's like that bend it changes you know what I mean and, mm -hmm. and and that is that is that dynamic duo in fact the trifecta just can't leave our Ali yeah. And, yeah. and just how they've b a, been able to you know what I'm saying like put it all together he's a whole pivot in the whole yeah industry. totally yeah, yeah. totally yeah. And, and just yeah. understanding where the culture is and, and being able to, to come in and do what they wanted to do like you speak about mm -hmm. For I have an interlude on on the Hood Is Here album mm -hmm. called um, Home, and that, and that's all forty. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's, that it was a, it's like a piece. He did even the the voice you hear in there. That's him yeah. singing it. And, and 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 we did a record. It was on a, uh, uh, this this uh, movie that I, I did. I, I had a little part in that Ving Rams uh, started and produced in called. Um, uh, Saving God, and, mm -hmm. and a piece of that song is in in the in the score of that movie. And, and uh, but w when I think about that song, and I think that was all the like when you say that was like what Forty liked to do. That was his. He had that R and B, that chord, that musicality. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is you just give him the material, you know, man, he'll make he'll make an art out of it, man. Yeah, he makes, he makes yeah. a, a masterpiece out of anything you give him, man. Straight. Yeah. So so, so yeah, in, in both of those. Uh, in both of those instances, yeah, we just I, I just let them go. But as I look back, I see that that was this is all the the, the bed track. It all led for, up to what's going on. It now. needed it needed Drake. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and Drake needed and it needed, worked exactly it, what it that's exactly what yeah. Noah yeah. wanted to do the whole time. That's mm -hmm. what I really even going back to what I was saying about the softer beats. Mm -hmm. When he was giving us those records, I was like, yeah, this is dope, but don't knock like I like I, you know I'm a fan of Havoc and you know I yeah. mean those, those those drums that make your ears hurt. Some primo shit. So when he was giving me the stuff he was giving me, I was like, who is this? for it you know what i mean like i'm not trying to sing <laughs> but when when it Sorry. actually la landed in drake's lap i was like this is exactly what it was supposed to be for the entire time mm -hmm. i met i met him at a at a party we did a show at china it was the place called china dog <laughs> And it was a show, know. one of the boys had a show there. Yeah. And when we showed up there, Drake had no involvement in it. The show wrapped up, the crowd left, and mm -hmm. the only people left were the rappers who rapped that night. And it was just the DJ, the rappers who wanted to rhyme, mm -hmm. and the mic just kept going in circles. And he jumped in, and I was like, oh, that's the guy. He has got. A, he does the thing on a television show. I'll let him rhyme a little bit and see yeah. how he does. And he was, he was killing it. And not only was he killing it, he actually was looking like he was working... He was working it like he was trying hard to make sure that people noticed that he was nice with it and from mm. then i was like yo you know what i don't doubt this guy's work ethic yeah. he's nice with it and i don't doubt his work ethic and then all i got was stories about how this guy doesn't sleep and he just wants to make sure that everybody loves his stuff and mm -hmm. i understand that's where it comes from man dope, he's man. dope man he does his thing I, nobody can tell me nothing about him you know you want to go into the ghost right and you want to go into all the details about his life sure up and down for everybody but does the guy deserve his spot? Absolutely. Yeah, Straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dope, dope. Um, couple more questions. Yeah, go right? ahead.